What's up, you guys? I'm so excited for this video. We're gonna be trying brand spanking new makeup. These are things that I ordered from Sephora and Ulta within the past week or two that came in the mail just in the nick of time for me to film this video, but they're things that A, some of them were sold out right when they launched, and I was like, no, one of the biggest drugstore launches sold out so fast, but it was already back in stock. So I was like, oh my gosh, I thought it was like a fluke, so I ordered them, and here they are. So that line, we're definitely gonna try. It's the e.l.f. Halo Glow products that are kind of like the Charlotte Tilbury dupe. So we're gonna try those, and a bunch of other things that were just brand new on the new page that I was like, I would like to try it, like that really caught my eye. So yay, 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 that's what we're gonna do today. So future Jessie popping in to say thanks to today's video sponsor, which is Casetify. Casetify has been working with me all year long, so thank you for supporting my channel in that way. So that is the phone case brand that I use exclusively. I have tons of their cases. I switch between all the time, but they also make all kinds of different tech accessories from watch Apple watch bands to AirPod cases to iPad cases to, I mean, they have so many different things. If you get on their website, you'll see, but I love that they have so many different prints and options to choose from. So you really feel like you're finding something that's customized to what you actually like and not just like a general thing. So some of the cases I currently have, I love their Ultra Impact line. These are a little bit more protective. These are drop test approved up to 11 and a half feet, which is incredible. I'll show you a drop test right now. I am never concerned and I've never over the years of using Casetify have had any issues with cracked screens, my phone breaking, and I drop my phone oh, daily. I mean, multiple times a day, I'm sure you do too. But I like that it's protected, but it's still really thin and sleek. I don't feel like I've got this big brick that I'm like, can't fit into my pocket or into my purse easily. So I love that. I also love their impact line. These are some of my favorite prints I just pulled from to show you. You guys know I toggle with this one on and off my phone all the time. It has different books on it, which I just think is cute. The reader in me loves that. Um, and then this really pretty like twall print and then one that has my initials just kind of monogrammed on it. But I also think it's cool that their cases are made from 65% recycled and plant-based materials. It makes me feel good supporting this brand. But then also they work with a huge, like the global artist community. One of my favorite artists, I was making sure I got her name right, because anytime I'm scrolling through their prints, these are the ones that catch my eye. So her name is Marta Olga Clara, and she makes some of the prettiest, floral cases. I'll show, I'll pop on the screen some of them I'm looking at right now that are just so gorgeous. Oh my gosh, like there's like six I want here. <laughs> but I love that they support local artist communities. I think that's important, especially in today's day and age with everything going on, I feel like jobs like being an artist can be really, really hard. So I think it's cool that you can support them in this way. So I also really like their phone charm accessory. I'll show you a clip of me putting it on. I use this when I'm out grocery shopping or I just need my hands free. Maybe I'm holding one of my kids or holding the hand and we're just out and about. I love having this with me at all times so that I can pop it on, use it as I need it, and I'm not worried about my phone just falling on the ground or just being dropped. So if you are ready to treat yourself to a new case or maybe some sort of accessory, you can do so by going to casetify.com slash Jessica Braun and that will get you 15% off your order. I'll have the link and everything right at the top of the description box. Thank you so much to Casetify for supporting my channel and sponsoring a part of this video. So this really is gonna be a Sephora and Ulta haul, but it's a try on haul because I'm gonna be trying it on. I don't know why I'm explaining that to you. <laughs> you guys get it. <laughs> this, I, I got a bunch of samples. I traded in some of my points for some stuff. So this is the Dr. Jart Every Sunday Mineral Sunscreen SPF 50. We're just gonna try it on my face because I do need a sunscreen on. I've already done earlier today my vitamin C serum and my just regular moisturizer. If you're curious what ones I use every day, I will link those two products below. But this one I think is gonna end up having a white cap. Yeah, definitely. Ooh, it smells like lemon muffins. It smells like lemon poppy seed muffins, exactly. <laughs> I don't know that I need my sunscreen to have a scent, but it does smell pleasant. It feels really thin, like in a good way thin, like it's not gonna be weird under makeup. We're gonna see, and it definitely does have that kind of white cast, so I don't know that this would be one I would reach for if I were just wearing this. I'd probably reach for like my Kosas Dream Beam or something like that that's got a slight, it just doesn't have that white cast. But it does feel nice, it feels very, very lightweight. So if you're looking for that, this might be, might be the one for you. I don't know that I would need to buy the full size, but I am 
I mean, so far liking it. By the way, if you watch a lot of these like first impressions videos of mine, I do my speed review videos. So those I do like every six weeks or so. I mean, it, you know, it's never exactly the same twice, but, uh, and that's where I give more finalized reviews on things like this for videos like this, where I'm, I'm just kind of trying it for the first time. So if you want to check some of those out, I'll link my speed reviews a playlist. So I am just going to quickly throw on just the Sephora best skin ever foundation because I did not buy a new foundation today. And that was probably a good thing because I really don't, I mean, I don't need any of this, but um, I feel like I've been trying a lot of new face products. So it kind of felt nice to not have a new foundation to try. You know, I have a little bit of self tanner on <laughs> and I feel like we'll bronze it up, but <laughs> it's definitely looking a little light when I'm pairing it with that, you know, white cast sunscreen, it's like pretty interesting. I love this foundation formula though. It's not wildly expensive, especially if you get it when they have like promo codes for the Sephora collection. And I just, I think the formula is awesome. Honestly, this would be one that probably would be, I, I feel like since the price point isn't like wild and crazy, maybe during the next sale, I'll get a darker shade that'd be better for self tan. If you're someone that self tans, do you have like self tan shades of foundation? I know like literally everyone that does my job does. <laughs> I just don't cause like I won't use it enough, <laughs> but maybe like this would be kind of the perfect thing that I could get one foundation I know is foolproof for me and get that shade. And I don't feel like I'm spending $50 on a foundation and I don't want to have a bunch. So I'll do, you know, I'll mix it with like a darker one. I'll mix with a lighter. There's a lot of things I do, but I'm just saying I'm someone that just fully leans on bronzer to make my face match the rest of my body. Most of the time I have self tan on. Honestly, most of the time I have self tan on anyway. It's not wildly drastic. I don't think either. So I'm very intrigued by this product. Where is it? My little, my little box here. The new Natasha Denona high glam concealer. So it says it's brightening and hydrating crease proof serum concealer. That is a lot of claims there. The pa Ooh, the packaging is really pretty. I like the like neutral color, kind of a light tan. Okay. It looks nice and creamy the way I like it. Not too thick, not too thin. It's definitely darker than what I got going on right now. This is probably going to be a great <laughs> self tan concealer for me. <laughs> it's not too dark, but it definitely is like bordering. It's like almost matching my skin tone perfectly. The formula of this almost feels like it would be good all over the face. Like if you, you know, some people will use a concealer just all over their face instead of foundation. This kind of feels like it'd be a formula that would be good for that. Oh, that looks literally perfect. Are you guys seeing that on camera? Holy moly. This is stunning. I am going to be honest with you. I have not had a lot of luck with a lot like anything from Natasha Denona other than their eyeshadows and this is expensive so for me I'm like this concealer better blow my mind and be flawless for that price point holy moly it's just so pretty it's like hydrating oh my gosh where's my smaller mirror do I have that I do not it's just so nice I hope you guys are seeing what I'm seeing I feel like not only did it perfect but like my skin just looks so healthy there but it's not so hydrating that it looks greasy, greasy. You know how there's the, like the Tarte Creaseless Concealer. That one has that like greasy look to it. It just looks healthy and like it even like really perfected above my eyes too. So I am really jazzed about this. I'm packing for a trip very soon. And you know the cardinal rule, like don't pack things you're not like that you don't know that you already love. I might pack this bad boy anyway, cause it, I, it just looks so nice. So we'll see how it wears. I always put a uh, wear notes down in the description box for how these things wore. So if you're curious, definitely look down there and I will let you know. But mm, if you're curious, the shade I had is in three. So if you're typically my skin tone, I mean, this worked pretty well, but you might consider going down a notch, but I don't know. I'm not minding that it's a little deeper. Okay. Let me throw on some brows. Just using the Lawless Hold Up Soft Set Creamy Brow Wax. I've been using this pretty much, ooh, pretty much exclusively the past few weeks. Just easy to use, pretty. You guys know my love for the Elf Wow Brow. Okay, I got way too much there. You guys know my love for the Elf Wow Brow too, but this one's just a little bit more pigmented. 
And right this moment, just a little bit too pigmented. Do any of you guys watch Succession? I know this video is going up a little bit later than when I'm filming it, but when I'm filming this, we just watched the last episode. I'm not gonna spoil anything if you do. So curious your thoughts on the ending. I feel like it ended the way it needed to, okay? <laughs> I just do feel like that was exactly how it should have ended because yeah, anyway. Also, my dad kind of looks like the, the actor that plays Logan Roy, the original dad, and it would really throw me for a loop because like they would show so shots of him from the side or whatever and I'm like, oh my gosh, like it looks so much like my dad. <laughs> Very confusing for me. Well, this brow is darker. We're going to this like church thing tonight with my family for one of my family members and I don't want it to be like, I'd like it to like actually look like, there we go, that looks like it matches. <laughs> As if anyone's gonna be looking at my eyebrows, come on. All right, all right, come on Jess. I am so excited about some of this stuff. Okay. Oh, I picked up the Super Goop Lip Screen Sheer. So it's an SPF 30 lip balm. I have always used when we go to like a beach or anywhere where we're just gonna be in the sun a lot. The SPF lip balm I love is from O'Keeffe's. It's the same brand that makes my healthy foot cream that's over there in my nightstand that is so good. I'll link that cream. But the SPF lip balm is so wonderful. It doesn't dry my lips out. Like Tyler will use it. I'll put it on Genevieve. Um, so this one is of course much pricier because the O'Keeffe's is not this expensive. It's interesting. It's literally like a clear tube. This is, reminds me of something I can't quite put. So I just wanted to try it on. Oh, kind of feels not exactly like, but it kind of reminds me of the feeling of the fresh lip balm. Not exactly though. That's not quite the same, but it does feel nice. It feels moisturizing. Again, I might bring this on our trip because it's a cruise. So we'll definitely have a day or two where we'll be in the sun. So I might give that a whirl, but feels good so far. It's hard to know, but I do feel like SPF lip balms can really tend to dry your lips out if you're using them day in and day out. So finding ones that are decently moisturizing too is always nice. So hopefully this one's good. Okay, so I ended up throwing on a little bit of eyeliner and then this is something I wanna try before I put on mascara. So this is the Makeup Forever HD Skin Twist and Light Loose Powder. I am on a loose powder kick, which is very weird because I'm not really into loose powder, but I just tried the Makeup by Mario Tinted Face Powder, the pink shade on my under eye. I'm, I'm liking that. I still am unsure. I'm still testing it out. But if you wanna see the video where I did try it, I will link that below so you can see that. But this is interesting because it has four chambers of different colors and I'm assuming you mix it all together. So this is not necessarily a new concept. Givenchy, I know, does powders like that that I tried long ago. Um, but still, I'm excited to try it. I gotta figure out how to open, oh, okay, I'll just twist it. Oh, did I say four? I meant three chambers. I genuinely thought it was four, but there we go. So there's like a light blue, a pink, and like kind of a yellowish color. So how do I, what do I do? <laughs> I genuinely don't know how to use this. So it does say, Breakthrough mess proof packaging, delivering the ideal dose of powder in a twist. Okay, so that sounds awesome. A fine perfecting texture with no powdery or glittery effect, but it's still supposed to be radiant. The perfect combo of three shades to unify, correct, and revive the collection. Con uh, complexion. Open the cap and twist the bottom of the pack quickly and sharply one way then back. <gasps> okay. So now you can already see there's powder in it, but you literally just, I'm gonna try to do this upright. You twist it and then powder comes out. Did you guys, could you see it? Ah, oh, that's so cool. All right, let me try it again. I hope you could see that. Now I have way too much powder and I feel like none of the like pink is coming out. All right, well, this is very interesting. I love the idea. See, listen, I love, I love some uh, progress when it comes to different styles of packaging. So what I wanna do with this is I'm gonna kind of literally mix it in here which is really cool. And then I can kind of like bat it off in there. I got literally three shades on this. I want to set my under eye and just kind of see what that looks like. It's probably way too much powder. I'm just gonna dust some of that off. But I also wanted to set this because you can see I just have that concealer up there and I've just been putting powder on my eye instead of eyeshadow most days just to kind of set whatever concealer I'd kind of put up there. But it works out really well, so let me this and it kind of perfects it just enough. I've usually used a powder foundation, but I mean, I feel like it looks pretty nice. I'm not gonna set the rest of my face yet because there's some products obviously we're gonna use on there. 
But listen, this is unique, right? Like what a cool idea to do that. So if you're a loose powder person and you're tired of the mess, this might be worth considering. Really, really neat. I'll be curious though, as time goes on, if you're using this mechanism every day, if eventually it'll stop working. Let's assume that it will work all the way to the end because you never know. Oh, Pinocchio, you interrupt more videos. In, out, in, out, in, out. I'm definitely kind of at the point where I feel like most loose powders are created equal. Like there are some, like the Maybelline Fit Me loose powder at the drugstore is so, so good. And if I were blindfolded and tested that versus a high end, I don't know that I'd be able to tell the difference. So I don't know that you need to spend this kind of money, but if you're into that different kind of thing, or you like the mixture of different colors, it might be worth considering. So let's throw on some mascara. This is the Rose Ink Ultra Black Lash Lift. This is not, I think it's still new, but I don't think it's like just launched. I don't know, but I like the packaging. I, we're gonna see. I don't know that I've really heard anything about this, but I wanted to try it because I like the packaging, okay? And I can't stop talking about the Tower 28 mascara and I don't wanna bore you guys with the fact that that is the best mascara in the world. So I'm like, well, I gotta keep trying other stuff. Okay, wow, it is definitely lifting the lashes. I expected this to like not, when I think of rose ink, I think of just kind of low key makeup, like maybe not as obvious. This is actually looking pretty nice, especially for like a really clean lash look. You can definitely get that with this. Yeah, I mean, you know, I don't think it's maybe worth the high end price tag, but it is looking nice. We'll see, this could be one of those that the more you use it and it dries out a little bit, maybe the more you like it, I don't know. I don't not like it though. You know there are some mascaras that you try and you're like, this is, at, like it's horrendous, it's atrocious. This I just feel, well, first of all, hold on. Look how different that, what? <laughs> What? How, what happened? How is this so different? Am I using like a different part of the wand maybe? Yeah, actually, I think that's exactly it. So which part do I need to do to comb through this? Oh, it's looking so weird on that side. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh gosh, I'm gonna get mascara everywhere. I'm not loving that. So it's one of those that I think as you like kind of twist it, it, you can get different vibes. You know what I mean? So I think I see the comb through part. That's the part I want to use here. It's very interesting. I think I'm just going to need to get used, like just get a little practice at this. Yeah. Like I don't think it looks bad. I think it looks actually quite nice, but I just need to practice at it. And that again brings me back to, I did finally repurchase, by the way, the Tower 28 mascara is back in stock on Sephora. So I finally bought another one because I've been using my old one. And this one, it is, it's the one, you guys. <laughs> it just is. There's no learning curve. It applies like one coat and it's flawless. Like it is just one of those mascaras and it wears so well. So this is one I can confidently say is actually worth the higher end-ish price tag. Whereas this, I am enjoying so far, but it's a little hard to work with. I should say I'm enjoying the way it looks now. I didn't necessarily enjoy applying it. Okay. <laughs> Listen, this is the part of the video I've been waiting for that I'm so excited about. So e.l.f. had their Halo Glow launch and it's basically a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury little blush wands, contour wands, highlighter wands that they have with the sponge tip. Probably gonna be super messy, that's how those are too. But of course the price tag is so much more reasonable. So I'm excited to try these. I mean, a lot of brands are now doing this, but e.l.f. will always have a special place in my heart. You guys know that. And there are a lot of favorites of mine from the brand. So um, I'm excited to try their version of it. And I am now realizing I also have another highlighter and a blush. So we're gonna, we're gonna finagle some things. But first up, no matter what, is this contour wand. So this one is in the shade, I think I got the lightest one. Yeah, I got it in fair slash light. So it says it's got 2% squalane in it. Sometimes these kinds of products, especially when the drugstores tried to do them, I feel like can blend away too easily. And it, it's gotta be like the right combo of transparency, I feel like. Definitely is a gray tone. Whew, so it's a true contour wand but I'm not against that. Let's just give her a whirl. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use my sponge this first side and let's just kinda, just give her a whirl. I mean, <laughs> that's pretty easy. It looks like literally perfect. Now it's not the most obvious thing in the world. I mean, this is not that far off from my own skin tone, but when it comes to like making it kinda look natural, all right, let's try a brush on this side and I'm gonna put a little bit more on just 
because. Okay, that looks even better. So definitely a brush might be the move. I think, well, if you want it to look even more natural, do the sponge, but the brush still looks really natural, but it keeps a little bit more of the color there. But this may be the most pretty, realistic looking contour product I have. Like, look at me straight on. Don't you feel like it's defining it, but it's not so chiseled? Like it almost looks like my skin just looks like that. <gasps> Listen, I feel like some people have been poo-pooing, pay-pooing on these. And I, so far, am liking. We'll see how it wears. Like I said, I'll put in the wear notes. But I mean, I feel like that's looking so natural and nice. Have you tried any of the other shades? Like, especially if you're near my skin tone, have you tried the next one up? I feel like the next one up is maybe not quite as gray, so if you're not into that vibe. But, I mean, I don't feel like it's looking crazy gray on my face. It just looks really... Nice. Oh my gosh. Okay. Very exciting. So we're going to try the blush, but I also have another one I want to try. Okay. We'll do elf on one side and the other on the other, and then I'll have to do some kind of mixy to make it look even later, but that's fine. So the elf blush I got was the one in candle lit. I have been so excited to try these. Oh, it's definitely like glowy. It's a lot like those Charlotte Tilbury ones. Cause those do have a pretty glowy look to them just like that. I finally got a stipple brush and it is actually the e.l.f. brand, their domed stipple. And I'm gonna try that for this. Just gonna kinda get a little bit on there. Yeah, this is a good stippling brush if you're needing one. It's a good shape and density. It looks pretty. It's not gonna give you that like wild blush vibe. I, well, let me say this. If you don't like glowy blush, stay away. Cause I mean, look at that. It is really pretty. I certainly don't feel like I need a highlighter with it. My thing is if you want a little bit more color, you might need to really think about your shade choice. Cause obviously this one is not wildly darker or let me say just, it's not wildly different than my skin tone. And so I feel like it's not super obvious, which I'm totally into a more blush look. Well, I'm saying that now it actually is looking a little more obvious, but talk about like a one step type product where you can put this on and your blush and highlight is done. Like it just looks so youthful and healthy. So on the other side, I want to try this when this launched and it just launched, I was so flipping excited. So it's the makeup by Mario soft pop plumping blush veil. This is their cream blush. So they released a new line. There's a, a good range of shades, I think. And this was the shade I went with. This looks right up my alley color wise. So it's a, ooh, you know what it reminds me of? The NYX cream blushes. Remember those? This has a lot of sheerness to it, which at first you'd be like, oh, I don't, but that just means you don't have to be wildly careful with it. I'm so excited. All right, let me wipe off that stippling brush. Wish I had four cheeks. I mean, I do, but you know what I mean? <laughs> Cause I want to do so many different things. Okay. So we're going to, oh, that's not the right brush. Where is it? Okay. So it's just so easy. I mean, honestly, both of them are really easy. So this is actually kind of cool to compare, obviously very different price points, different products, but this one that really doesn't technically have like a shimmer or anything, but it does have this like look to it. And then this one, they both look really pretty and they honestly don't look that wildly different. So I'm just gonna kind of mix this one on top now that you've seen the difference just to kind of make it all look a little more similar. But yeah, it's kind of interesting that they really don't look that different. So um, this is very exciting. So the next thing I wanted to try is their highlight wand, but I also have another highlighter I wanna try. So we're gonna kind of we're gonna do the same thing we just did. Have one highlighter on one side, one highlighter on the other. So just side note, while I'm looking at my skin, the bronzer is very natural, which means you're really not like, for me trying to like match to my like self tan, it's not gonna be the one I'm gonna reach for because I feel like it just ever so slightly did it, but not enough to really, really give that impact. So like I said, maybe be choosy about the shade. I'm definitely gonna end up I probably today will end up placing an order for the next shade up just to try it out. Maybe I'll do it on Instagram story or reel soon. My Instagram, by the way, is at it's Jessica Braun. Okay. That is looking really pretty. Wow. Ooh. So I'm just going to squeeze some and just get it. I think 
honestly, the way I typically do it is like tap it and then, yeah. Cause you don't, this is definitely, even that might be too much. Definitely packs a little bit of a really pretty punch. I'm gonna throw a little bit up there. Wow. It's glowy, but it's, I feel like it still looks nice. Like I don't feel like it's highlighting a bunch of texture or anything that like some highlighters can. This next one we're gonna try on the other side is one that might, we're gonna see. So this is another attempt to try something from Gwen Stefani's makeup line, the GXVE. I actually don't know how, to, I have not looked up how to pronounce it, but anyway, this looks so much like the Bobbi Brown highlighters that look like this. It looks like the Physicians Formula one that I loved for years that looks like this. I already swatched it and it looks really pretty. It just looks really pretty. So we're gonna try this on the other side, baby. So the e.l.f. one that's more of like a liquid cream, this powder one, honestly, I feel like the powder gives the exact same look, but it's a little bit easier to use. You know what I mean? You're not having to get your finger in it and do this and then tap some off. Like that was pretty easy. Gosh, I really just like that sheen. Hmm. I haven't been using highlighters as much, but this might pull me back into it. So this may be the first thing from this line that I've been like, ooh, that just, and it feels like nice quality swatching it too. So this is very exciting. So the lip product I bought is the Huda Beauty Lip Blush, creamy lip and cheek stain. Obviously we're not gonna do it on my cheeks, but I think it's generally meant for the lips, considering it's called a lip blush, maybe more so than the cheeks. It just looks really pretty. I like the tiny packaging. This shade is so kind of like that mauve shade that I like. So we're just gonna give it a whirl. It's probably not a good match for this red shirt. Definitely ha has the feeling of like most lip stains that I've used really, really lightweight, like almost imperceptible on the lips, but it definitely, I mean, there's some color there. Talk about a mindless lip. Like I would put this on and completely forget I'm wearing it, but it definitely pulls me together just a little bit, especially like, okay, I know I'm not alone in this. You know, especially if you're someone that works from home or maybe you stay home with kids or whatever. It's a day that you're just not really going out of the house, but you're wanting to throw a little makeup on and you never really have an excuse to wear a lip product. Cause you're like, I mean, I'm just sort of putzing around the house, you know? But sometimes it's nice to have on a lip product, but you're like, well, I don't want to have to worry about it if I'm drinking coffee or tea or something. This is one of those that I feel like you can put on and it feel, it really does feel put together, but I'm not worried about it going everywhere. Like, I don't even think, yeah, it's not going anywhere but it just has that little bit of color. Okay, over explained that. So the other things I got by the way were, um, the these were like points perks I was cashing in. I got the Alginus Triple Algae Eye Renewal Balm. I'm always in need of like an eye cream when I'm traveling because I love eye creams. And then I also got the Biosense Squalane Omega Repair Cream. I've actually used a trial size of this before and I really liked it. So when I saw it was a point perk, I'm like, perfect. <laughs> Add that to cart. And then I got the Jisoo Honey Infused Hair Perfume. So I actually have a full size of this and I'm really liking it. So here's the thing. It definitely has kind of like a very like actual honey-like smell with a twist. I thought it would maybe smell a little sweeter. It really doesn't. But you know when you've used dry shampoo in your hair and it's like the third day and you're like, okay, you're teetering on, like I maybe need to wash it, but you're, you're going for one more day get the dry shampoo in there, get that all combed out. And once your hair's done, you know how sometimes it just kind of has a certain smell. It's not that it like smells bad, bad, but you know what I mean? That, I swear to you, my hair, it feels like I just washed it. It smells so good. I turn and my hair smells good. So I actually am really liking it. Um, so I was excited to get a little travel size cause I'm like, I'll throw it in my purse. I'll use it just on the go. All right, so kind of, let me go through these. I love to take a second to kind of think through what are my top couple new launches from what I tried that I would maybe recommend you check out? All right, my number one, and if you had asked me before I sat down, if I would have ever guessed in a million years, this would be my favorite product of the video, I, I just wouldn't have believed you. That would be the new Natasha Denona concealer. <laughs> I cannot believe how much I like the way my under eyes look. They are so well covered. They look just nice, like they, it is so obvious to me that they look so much nicer than they typically look. I feel like this really would be a good face concealer as well if you just like 
had on a tinted SPF and you're like, I just want a little more coverage and you just kind of put a little bit, blend it in. It just has that quality to it. So I, <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying that this is my favorite product, but I was really taken aback by the makeup by Mario. I loved that it was a little bit sheerer, more sheer than you might think it is, but in a way that makes it so easy to apply. You don't have to think about it. You can just kind of throw it on, especially, of course, this is dependent on the shade you get. Cause of course, I've said of course like seven times. If you go for a shade that's way deeper than your skin tone, you still might need to be a little careful, but you know what I'm saying. I am enjoying this so far. I'm so excited to be enjoying it. This is probably coming on the cruise with me too. It's a toss up between the e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wands and this highlighter. I just think, first of all, it just gives me those old school vibes, but it really is pretty. I feel like it just is soft. It's still, it's a punchy highlighter, but it has a softness to it that I, I just really like. So I think this is my third product, but shout out, honorable mention to these. Like I said, I do want to try the darker of this, but for everyday use, I feel like this contour shade was really pretty. And if you're going to ask out of the three products, which one, if you were just to try one, I think I might recommend the blush the most because even if you don't get a shade that's perfect for you, it can still work and look really, really pretty. And again, it being kind of an all in one step blush and highlighter mixed into one is really, really pretty. And it feels very high end. I feel like it looks high end on the cheeks too. And the rest of them, I'm just going to keep messing with. Like I'm excited to keep messing with this makeup forever powder and the other products I tried, but I hope, I hope, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you again to Caseify for sponsoring a part of this video. If you want to get 15% off your Caseify order, you can go to caseify.com slash Jessica Braun. I'll have the link and everything right at the top of the description box for you. Thank you guys for watching all the way to the end. I hope you'll subscribe, stick around. I do try new makeup videos every few weeks here on my channel. Sometimes I'll do just specific drugstore focused ones. Sometimes it's a mix like this. I also do a lot of like drugstore dupes videos. I have one of those coming up very, very soon, like wildly soon. <laughs> so definitely subscribe, stay tuned for that. And I'd love to hang out with you over on my Instagram. It is at it's Jessica Braun. I'd love to say hey to you over there and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.